So hi and welcome to another video and today we're taking apart the Rocat Cone Pure Ultra here. I've done a review on this video if you want to see what it's about and what the tests have done for latency, button press, saturation, force, glide test, all of that. I'll put a link in the description for that as well as all the tools that I've used here to take this mouse apart. Now if you're not familiar with these videos, we are going to use the bigger scales to weigh the largest parts. We're going to use the smaller scales to give us really incremental grams here for things like the screws, mice feet, etc. We use a caliper to measure the width of things like the PCB and the encoder. I've got some additional tools here to take the feet off and unscrew it and also help me pull things apart. So in this video, we're going to pull apart the Rocat here fully. It'll allow you to fix any parts that you have any problems with if they're broken and you're not sure how to take it apart if you want to power cord it. And it'll also show you what's inside the mouse if you're just interested like me to see how it's put together. So let's get on with the video. So the first thing we need to do is take the skates off with a hairdryer. And then it should just pull the parts from slightly different the base here and just pulling the cord a little bit and it'll ping off and then it should open up nicely or we'll move the pin cable here for the side buttons at the top so the top shell has two screws one here and one under here let's take that out Be able to just give it a little bit of a pull there and it should just ping out. Like so. Got some nice TTC side buttons here. Now the side buttons look like they're stuck in. You can see that on the camera, but these little pins here, it's like little rivets on the side. It's not the normal T-bar that we see. Let's see if we can just ping them off a bit. I like they're coming away. Oh, yeah, there we go. see uh, little holes they push into like little pins basically or little stems bit of a different design here you can see on the camera it's hard to see but there's little pins they push into I like the uh, plungers here for the feet these are nice they look better than most companies at the minute as well from Rocap take the DPI button out so again here it's got Three, two little dots holding it in. We've also got some little side hooks or side clips. So we'll put together. This leaves just this shell left now. So this is a two piece shell. You got the top part here that clipped into this bottom piece. Under here, we've got a clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here. And they should release the triggers. These are going to be stiff. Got an unusual fit in here. This is a different style of clip I've not seen. Get 
could see the Rokats ultralight design here where they've drilled some of it. I think this door's for potential, take out some of the weight in this shell. Like I like, I don't know if you can see here, the way they've drilled, they've drilled out some of the weight but kept the side flat, which is quite cool. So it's like a 50-50, you've got honeycomb most of the shell but then you've got this like outer layer protected it from the honeycomb can maybe feel it if you put a bit of pressure on but you won't feel it when you've got the when you're gaming still quite a thick shell here from rocat you can definitely trim some of this weight out now the pcb so on here we've got a screw here and here near the encoder we've got one of the pcb top one at the bottom this is well put in we've got on run left and right switches, TTC mouse button switch on a stacker, which is different. Not seen that normally. These are micro switches, but that shows how high that score wheel is. And then they've got this encode on a raised platform as well. Encoders and Alps R, and these are 50 million click on run switches. So take out the encoder ones first. Another different style screw. encoder a little bit of a pull with some you see under here some pins like um, male to female board pin you have to pull them up just straight a small score well here from Rocat diameter wise The tough design on the encoder here. Try and get it out carefully because you could damage it. Let's leave it in there for the minute. We'll take it off maybe when we get the PCB off. So, to the remaining PCB screws out. I've also noticed on this is the pins for the cable here. We put it really close to the front of the PCB so you don't normally look at the back corners. This one's on the front here, which is a good idea. Though I don't like it being cored up as much as it is. See, it's starting to twist some of the cables funny. Just give that a little pull and it'll ping out. With thick base plate you can again see that kind of honeycomb effect where they've drilled out little bits of it to try and save some weight but left it so you can't tell on the external side it's not obvious i think they could probably make a bit of a thinner shell because this is she's pretty thick it's a very trimmed down pcb here they've got let's go and get some of the weight out of it i'm hoping this makes it a bit easier to split I definitely would not recommend taking this part at this point off the PCB if you can get away with it. This is a, a risky one. Just trying to apply some pressure to the pins jammed in, man. You can tell it just isn't moving, so I don't think it can come apart there. There's plenty more pressure on it, I'm going to break it. Hmm. Well, I can't get this part apart unless I break it very easily. It's going to be very difficult, so hopefully you never have to change that bit. <laughs> there.
So as you can see here, this Rocat is built very well. It's got a little bit of a weird thing on the scroll wheel, how it mounts for the encoder. So I couldn't get that apart. Still wouldn't be able to get it apart. And I probably wouldn't do it if I was you because you probably end up breaking it. If you want to replace the encoder though, you're probably going to have to do that. Other than that, it's built really well. I like the how the shells put together and we can do that and see how much more we can get out of it. Overall, Rocat have done a really good job at building this mouse. It is nicely put together. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.